I'm going to tell you why Zabit Magomed Sharipov retired. But firstly, I will tell you why you should be interested in this topic. Zabit has such diversity to his game. He says, basic doesn't mean the cop can't crack him. And look at all the head that is there. He'd be able to work that leg. Zabit never gave boring performance. Many times has received fight of the night bonus. Fans love him for his attractiveness. Without a doubt, I think it's going to lead to a read. Oh, a beautiful uppercut! In the Always shows something new, and still is undefeated in UFC. Magomed Sharipov has joined with Khabib Nurmagomedov himself in Sambo style, fought against Islam Akache. And despite all the success, experiences, and bright future. Technique is what's most impressive. Look at that. Spin into the right edge now. He was talking about attacking the body, working the body. He retired. So, why is Abid Magomed Sharipov retired? The lost all their records, but there were such interesting fights. Oh, man. Look at the timing on that. Caught him coming in. To fully understand why he did so, we have to go back and see his long journey in martial arts. Zabit started to train in freestyle wrestling at 10 years old and then Tsanda, which is Chinese full contact boxing. Therefore, it's hard to say what Zabit's main style is home everywhere. Right when puberty started, he joined World Wushu boarding school, the Five Directions. He lived there and trained martial arts three times per day, on his own, without parents or any family. Ten years after that, in 2012, he made his professional MMA debut. <laughs> Against Shumalgi ZB Spive. I had to mention the name in case you thought Magomed Sharipov was already too difficult. Magomed Sharipov fought in many different promotions early in his career. Amazing a professional record of 6-1 before signing with ACB. Zabit's only loss was in his fifth MMA fight via armbar in the third round. It was against German soldier Igor Egorov, who doesn't fight in MMA anymore. For your picture, signing ACB in Russia is something like signing UFC in America. Zabit cleared whole division, took six wins through various techniques. The craziest one was against Muhammad Kakov, who lost by breaking his arm. Magomed Sharipov took many wins, many popularity, and finally after clearing the whole division, he even took the belt against Arab Kanov. Zabit ended his first title fight in the fourth round by TKO. A few weeks later, he defended the title against Valida Silva, his first non-European opponent. An extremely impressive victory for Magomed Sharipov's first title defense here at ACB. Fantastic title defense. And went straight to the UFC. I would like to highlight the fact that even though we barely understand the Russian names, those guys are killers. We cannot talk about any building record matches. Okay, gents, first round. You ready to fight? You ready to fight? Bring it on. With a record 12 to 1, Zabit decided to leave Russia and head to the UFC. 
Here he was welcomed by the experienced Mike Santiago. Very simply, Zabit could not have done better. It was perfect first match. Two months after a successful debut, Magomed Sharipov faced Shaman Mores. Zabi dominated the entire fight. and submitted Mores to Anaconda Cho with 30 seconds left. And from this moment, everyone knew Zabit is a superstar. The only disadvantage Zabit faced was his English. You like coffee? Yes, I do. What? American, American. 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 Cheese. Just, just regular right. coffee. Due to language barrier, Zabit suffered his whole career. Oh, Jesus. Look at that. Jumping switch kick. This was followed by a match at the Nurmagomedov vs. Holloway pay per view tournament, where Zabit was already on the main card. Man. Phenomenal high kick. He was facing Kyle Bochniak. was a decent beast in that time. Zabi didn't finish the match, but scored a convincing win. A lot of fighters would be quitting, would be folding, would be thinking about their neck. Zabi sticks and moves. Man. Oh! And they look at Kyle Bakniak's forehead. The win earned him a fight of the night bonus. Shortly after bout, Magomed Sharipov signed a new multi-fight contract with UFC. Turn beautiful stuff and look at this outside trip, man, gorgeous. After a great introduction, the first problems started to appear. Nobody wanted to fight Zabi. Got a real pronounced jab and an excellent switch lead kick. The first cancelled fight came, which were often repeated in Zabi's career. He's not chasing, he's to be careful. This is where Zabit's good. Zabit was expected to fight Kyra Rodriguez on September 8, 2018 at UFC 228. However, Rodriguez spoke of the fight two weeks ago and was replaced by Brandon Davis. Magomed Shakirov won the fight via submission in the second round with a modified knee bar. Little did anyone know, however, that he only had two games left in his career. Zabit was expected to face Calvin Ketter, however, he was removed from the card due to injury. Gotta do something to Oh, look at that! Oh, look at that spinning back there. Because of that, he's used to the experience. Which is another huge problem for Zabit. The first one is no one wanted to fight him. And the second one is his health. And we are getting to the reason why he retired. Injuries began to pile up and as Zabit climbed the ladder, opponents began to avoid him in a large numbers. Who in the fight? What's next to you? What's next? Yeah. If Dominic Cruz comes I, back... I hope Zabib is ready. Zabib? <laughs> no. The penalty made fight, however, was phenomenal. Magomed Sharipov unfortunately fell on the prelims card, but he absolutely toyed with Jeremy Stevens. Whom he dismantled in three rounds. The farewell bout took place in 2019. Magomed Sharipov defeated Calvin Ketter after a three-round battle and could have rightfully claimed the title. 
but Destiny will it differently. There is much speculation on the internet as to why Magomed Sharipov truly retired. I don't want to stir these waters and add fuel to the fire, so it's best to point directly to Zabit's answer. Obviously, this is a huge complex issue, as fighting was Zabit's livelihood and passion, so there is more than one reason for his retirement. We saw that several of Zabit's matches were cancelled, but the reality is that many fights end up being negotiated behind the scenes and we never even know that any negotiations even took place. This is probably the problem Magomed Sharipov is referring to. It should be mentioned that such negotiations are often lengthy, boring, dealing with minor nuances and fighters are not built for this. So the question is, who was Zabit's manager and what was his job? From the way Zabit describes the situation, it looks like we fans have been deprived of attractive fights because of the unprofessional work of the UFC matchmakers and Magomed Sharipov's manager. I don't want to judge, it's hard to say where the dog is buried. The whole thing has a sign thing to it. After all, you can hear that Zabi doesn't sound very enthusiastic neither. The problem is even more challenging with added inconveniences. In the background, Magomed Sharipov fought with himself alone. He had several problems, whether that affected his cardio, which was criticized a few times, or his immune system. Magomed Sharipov dealt with various injuries and health issues that plagued his career. In an Instagram statement, he revealed that several health problems significantly impacted his decision to retire. The issues began when Zabit had to withdraw from a fight against Yair Rodriguez due to a staph infection in his leg. Later, he revealed that he was dealing with immune system issues that would require surgery. Zabit Magomed Sharipov, however, has not left the fight scene completely and is training his stance with brother Kassan. Plus, he's studying medicine to become a doctor and heal people. More to come in possibly next video. This one, this video, was made on Cool Adams Pop Up. Take advantage of being part of young community and post in the comments a fighter I should make a video about or a topic that's worth discussing. Stay hard.